Can I be? Uh, yes. Sir. Do you read the King James? Uh, sometimes. Do you know the difference? Um, there's, well, there's different translations. Yes, I know. No. Okay. Translation is when you take a word yes. like "pom" and translate it to English like "apple." Yeah. And version is having "pom" and translating it to "apples and pears." Yeah? Okay, that's version. Yeah? Add into the text. So it's an apple here, and when you've translated it, you've added extra sap. Right? That's one way. The other way is having pom here, and later on, in the same gospel, 200 years later, having pom and orange. You've added to the text. Okay. Well, that's why John says in Revelation, may no man wait, wait, take away wait, wait, wait. Well, unfortunately, if you read the new NIV and the King James, you put them together, they don't have the same amount of verses. Well, you're, you're looking at the Bible as one whole book. You look at the individual books and the, the no, textual no, 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 criticism okay, of each book. I'll make it simple for you. And say if why you aren't they authentic? If you read the King James Version of the Bible, you have a verse in Acts. Acts 8.37. Yeah. Are you aware of this? Do you know the teaching of Acts 8.37? Uh, it's going to be about the, the European units. The These people walking with uh, Philip and they get asked to be baptised and Philip says, why don't be baptised? And he says, because I believe Jesus to be the Son of God and they go to the water and he's baptised. Yeah? Okay. In the NIV, does it say that? Is there any mention of what do you believe I believe Jesus to be the Son of God? No. Some manuscripts include that. Yeah. Meaning? And what does that mean? Some manuscripts? I mean, it's the textual, the, the textual history of the text. And what does that, that mean? That thing can be shall, shall I explain what that means? Shall, shall, shall I explain what that means? Some manuscripts. Okay, I'll explain what it means. Your oldest complete manuscript you have. No, not what it means, but what you think it means. What is your oldest manuscript you have? Uh, 100. 125 no, 300 you got the, no, no you got the, complete you got the fragment, complete fragment. forget fragments complete. forget features yeah. fragment for complete okay. your complete New Testament what's the oldest one you have the uh, code of science. when is that uh, 300 360 something like that yeah? 318 I think it's actually ok that's a complete text Everything. here's Acts 837 in that um, I'm, I'm guessing no yeah. no it's, it's not there ok is uh, any in the Gospel of Mark in Sinaiticus is there any verse after verse 16 Gospel of Mark so, uh, I have a bit with the with the woman being well basically yeah. in, Ma in the Court of Sinaiticus in the Gospel of Mark when the, the women go to the tomb yes. and they flee and speak to no one Finished. Yeah, it's possible that there was a redactor there that, that it sort of it summarizes okay. a little bit. Yeah, there's, there's that bit. Right, right, right. But well, then okay, all, the rest, of it, okay. all the rest of it can well, be, can be very quick. You know the summarize you say? The summarize. The summarize is the whole crux of Christianity. Because without a resurrection, there is no Christianity. So this addition is a resurrection story that's not in the original. It says that Jesus was risen from death. No, no, no. no. The angels appear. I'll, I'll say to you. Again. It says Jesus was risen. I'll say to you again. Go and tell the others. I'll say to you again. Oh, so if you read the Gospel of Mark, in the Court of Sinaiticus, which yeah. is your oldest, most reliable Gospel of Mark, yeah? When the women go to the tomb, they find that the, tomb, the stone has been rolled away, and they and they flee and speak to nobody. It says they weren't saying. If you look at the Greek, it says they weren't saying anyone. There, anyone. And then it ended. Yeah, it doesn't say that they didn't say anything. No, no, when it ended. It ended. Yeah. Gospel Mark finished. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. That well, doesn't mean that afterwards they didn't say something. No. But well, what we're saying is, in that gospel, in your earliest, most reliable manuscripts, the Gospel of Mark, the story ends there. Yeah, but there's, All right. there's a resurrection. No, 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 listen. Well, that resurrection, resurrection story right, right. is only added in the Codex Washington 140 years later. There is no story. There is no resurrection story in the end of Mark. There's a resurrection in the sense no, no, that no, no, the angel no. appears, no, no. stones roll in away. Jesus, Mark, where, where is Jesus when gone? the women flee, there's no Jesus appearing to the disciples eating bread and honey. There's no go preach to the nation in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In Mark, no, but in the other gospels, yes. No, but in Mark, there's not. But when you come to the later manuscripts, all of a sudden we have this story. I use the word to define later, later manuscripts. Right. So the later manuscripts are corruptions of the text, aren't they? No, because the, the text is never corrupted by you. But they changed it. They haven't changed it. I mean, that bit, that bit can't be verified. That's all it's saying. It's okay. saying that I'll tell you what can be verified. Can be if you go to the British Library and you open up the Gospel of Mark, the earliest, most reliable manuscript, it finishes when the women speak to no one. Well, read, the, read that if you want. I mean, no, no, no. It still tells you anything that Jesus later Christ than that, Anything later than that that says anything different than that, don't forget the later ones are supposed to be copies. So if you've copied that, and you've added an extra bit, you've corrupted the text. It's copied, well, there's also, things doesn't have to be spread from, what's the word? 
written down. I mean, there's, there's verbal transmission as well. Listen, we're talking what's written down. You believe the Bible is the inherent word of God. You believe the Bible cannot be corrupted. And the evidence is in your own manuscript. Why is it called corrupted? Changing of the text. What do you call corrupted? People make misprints and spelling mistakes. There's a difference between misprints and mistakes and forgetting to write something. Of course there is. And adding complete stories. I'll give you an example. Adding complete stories. If you read your oldest, most reliable manuscript of the Gospel of John, you have this beautiful, you have no story of the adulterous woman and he without sin cast the first stone. It isn't there. Yet we find it 150 years later. Where, what happened? What do, you, what, what do you mean what happened? Why, why isn't it, it, how can it be in a later uh, manuscript well, and not why it's supposed to be copied from? It can't be fully verified as being part of the original text, but so that doesn't be. mean it wasn't part of the original text. No, no, no. If you, have, if, if you read the Codex Sinaiticus as your it's authority, not. It's not just that they copied that from other copies. There's, there's other types of transmission. You have your most, most oldest reliable manuscript. Yeah. You have it in your hands. And it doesn't contain that story. Why not? Like I said, that that's not the only form of transmission. Why is it not there? Well, I mean, if you, if you don't want to read it, then don't read it. Read the rest of the Bible. No, but the point you is, still, this, still come to the it's not completely. there. And then it appears. So, in the gospel, in your oldest, most reliable manuscript, the story isn't there. Well, if you don't want to read it, then read the rest of the Bible. Well, don't you understand? If it's not there, it can't be there later, because that's supposed to be a copy of that. Don't you understand that? Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what you're saying. I mean, like I say, if you don't like that bit, read the rest of the Bible, no problem. You still come to the same conclusion that Jesus Christ was Lord. No, no, but don't you understand if the text has been life. corrupted there? Where else has it been corrupted? Well, all, all the rest of it can be verified. That's where, that's the you thing. can only it's verify it to 360 right. years after Jesus. Uh, like I said, there's, there's fragments from the Gospel. Well, you can't make nothing from those fragments. 25 uh, years after Jesus. Do you know how many of those fragments before the 11th century? Do you know how many percent uh, of all your manu 5,000 manuscripts, yeah? yeah? How many before the 11th century? 11th century? Well, there's not that many 15%? There's, there's more texts about Jesus from, than any, anyone else from that time. Listen. Because you know that. Listen. We're talking about yes. manuscripts. We're talking about manuscripts here. Manuscript evidence. Your Bible is copied from manuscripts. You translate from manuscripts. What you've done, you have a Bible in your hands today containing stories which is not in your manuscript. Why do you have a story in your Bible which is not in your manuscript? Like I said before, each book has been verified. Those parts cannot be verified. You're not just saying each book has been verified. You question? Listen, I'm listening. It's Fantastic. Okay. My question to him you have the Bible today, and you have the story of the adulterous woman, he without sin, cast the first stone. So it's too fast for me. Fast in the Bible, yeah. in John, yeah. you have the story of the adulterous woman. Okay. He without sin, cast the first stone. Yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You know the story. Yeah. Famous story. I've heard it, yeah. Beautiful story. Be a Fantastic story. teaching. Yeah? Yeah. Unfortunately. Okay. But this story, yeah. uh, this Bible, yeah. which is translated from your manuscripts, yes? Yeah. And your oldest, most reliable manuscripts yeah. is the uh, Codex Sinaiticus, complete manuscripts. Okay. Would you agree with that? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm an archaeologist. I can definitely say that. Okay, but what they say, um, the most complete yes. uh, of um, the New okay, Testament okay, manuscripts. Okay, okay. I mean, there's a program on recently called Bible Hunters. Okay. And, they, and they said it was discovered. You have Codex Sinaiticus, and then you have Codex Syriaticus, and then you have Codex Washington. Okay. The Codex Washington is like 500 AD, yeah. and the King James Bible is translated from that. Yes, okay. And the reason it was translated from that, because yeah. at the time when the King James Bible was translated, yes. that was the only manuscript you had in your hands. Okay. So it's translated from that. Then you discover... Yeah. Early manuscripts. Oh. And then the readers of the King James Version realize yeah. there's stories here which are not in the early manuscripts. Oh, well, that's fine in translation. No, not, we're not talking about translation. We're talking about... Well, we are talking about translation. We're talking about stories. Okay. So, okay. For, for example, okay. they realized um, in uh, the Codex Washington, uh, the Gospel of Mark goes on to say Jesus appeared, eat bread and honey, baptized the nation's Father, Son, Holy Spirit, yeah? Okay. okay. In the Codex Sinaiticus, it doesn't. Now, Codex Washington is a copy of the Codex Sinaiticus. Okay. Because it's a, this is the early one. Okay. Right. So the question is this: How do you have stories later on that never appeared in the earlier manuscripts, unless a scribe has corrupted the text and added this ending in? What's your theory? That's it. That's my theory. Well, if if you accept the existence of prophets, right? They have the word of God, or other, to speak through, or any word. They have the word of 
want the, the uh, divine speaking through them. That's true, but I don't believe ah. that the gospel writers were prophets. Ah, well, that's, okay, fair enough. Do you believe they were prophets? I'm a, I'm a, I, I don't really have a belief system, I'm a scientist. Okay, uh, so you believe in God, though? I don't really know what God is. I'm, I've been looking for an atheist today. To, are you an atheist? I don't think so. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what an atheist is. Okay. No, because I am... Um, oh, I don't know where to go with you, my friend. No, well, I teach. teach. I interrupted you. Yeah, no, no, no. I thought he was a Christian coming to back up it. See, what he's doing, you see, he's quoting 